Hey guys, this is Carla Alexander here. And I just had this really interesting conversation with my son's girlfriend. And we were basically talking about to level up our girl power. You know, um, she's going for a position and she definitely deserves it. She's smart, very talented, creative, you know, the whole shebang. It's just that, you know, a lot of times there are things that get in the way of that. So they're in the position now to try to train her for, you know, a, a hot position of higher pay, which is great. You have two degrees of men out here. You have your businessmen and you have everybody else. The businessmen understand they don't play games. They're about their money. They're about their their service or whatever you know that they have. And then you have the other ones that are just working for the man with the business. You know, those are the ones that really don't have any ambition and drive. But those are the ones that'll talk to you and tell you how you can't do anything, how you are you know inadequate, or you can't you know you can't be better than you are. You know, just just not where he needs to be at and the only thing I'm gonna say is this <clears throat> coming from a woman who was in an abusive relationship coming from a woman who understands that sometimes in life you're gonna listen to other people and you're not gonna mean to do it you know sometimes if somebody grinds something into your your head enough you tend to believe it well I'm getting ready to ground this into your head if a man is not doing better than you if he is not juggling 50 million things around his head like you are please don't listen to that man please don't listen to that boss because these people don't understand just how hard it is that you have to work on a regular basis it's hard nobody understands the work of a mother nobody unless you are a mother unless you are a single father that has to deal with it because the child is always going to prefer one parent over the other no matter what so imagine having a kid that's going to need that type of attention times five okay that's that's me so i learned early on that if I can't, after, especially after what I went through, I learned that if a man cannot do half the stuff that I can do, then there's no reason for him to even have any opinion about anything. I can dress the way I want. I can smell the way I want. I can put on makeup as many times as I want. I can be me. I can do whatever I want. You know why? Because if a person cannot meet me, if you can't meet me, struggle for struggle, then you have nothing to say to me. So ladies, please, let me let me give this to you because you guys have to understand you underestimate yourself. You underestimate your power. You underestimate your talent. And it's because people in the world, they don't want you to see it. They don't want you to know what you are capable of. Do not listen to them. Understand that if you can't cash that opinion, girlfriend, don't take it. Tell them no thank you. You don't need that. That's good. I can't cash that opinion. So if I can't cash it, I'm not going to hold on to it. Because nobody has the right, or actually the ability, unless you give it to them, but nobody has the right to tell you that you can't be anything more than what you are. You can't do anything more past the limitations that they think you have. And the only reason why you would even give it a second thought is because you're not even sure how many you know talents you have or what you could possibly do because you've been too afraid to push yourself of course we do that we do that now when i was growing up my mother loved to do a lot of get rich quick schemes you know a lot of multi-level marketing things and things that she could do at home you know so that she could stay home with me and my sister the problem was my mom just didn't have a very good structure so it was hard for her to to keep a solid foundation underneath us and we ended up moving around a lot and that's just the way it was so when I started having my children I decided that I wasn't gonna do that 
I already watched my mother go through, you know, dream after dream after dream. I had dreams of castles and ponies, you know, because when you're little and you don't know what a struggle truly is and your mom is telling you things are going to be great, don't worry about it, you tend to say, okay, and you start putting all of your expectations into that dream of yours because, again, you don't know any better. So after a while, I stopped believing in hope. I stopped believing that things could actually happen because it never happened for my mother. And I grew up doing the opposite of what I saw my mother do, thinking that I was going to be, I was going to have a better life. Let's put it like that. that I, I literally did the exact opposite of what my mother did raising my children because I thought I would have a better life. The only thing I managed to do was make it harder for me to live. I still struggled. Um, I, you know, I still didn't have a place because I gave up my life early. I want to say whatever expectations I had, I gave them to my mother because I just couldn't hold on to mine anymore. She needed me a little bit more than my dreams and my expectations needed me. So what I did was I gave up whatever, like I said, whatever I thought I wanted to do or become in my life, I put it up. I said, okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to do that. And I sat in an apartment that I bought for 20 years. I sat in that apartment. I mean, I, I took care of the bills, you know, here and there. It was, just, it was hard, especially being a single parent. You know, it was difficult because, you know, when you got men who decide that they want to quit their job instead of pay child support, you're kind of left basically do shit on your own and that's exactly what happened so while I was trying to provide you know a stable environment for my kids I still ended up doing the same thing I still ended up not doing anything because that's what I watched my mother do she didn't start a business she didn't work it from the ground up you know she went to school but she never had a job for that you know for what she went to school for so it was really hard to understand that that wasn't how life is supposed to be. And it kind of screwed me up for a long time. You know, you, you can only, you can only follow what you've been taught if you only have one way of learning something. I only had one way of learning something. And even though it was a struggle and even though it was hard, I was like, yep, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do that. But I still managed to struggle. I still managed to do the exact same thing. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that I gave a lot of my power away to men early. Because my mother led me to believe that, you know, oh, my first guy, you know, my first, the first boyfriend I ever really had, he was so in love with me. You know, he went to my mother crying and, oh my God, it was crazy. It was crazy. My mother felt sorry for him. So she was like, oh, he's going to take care of me because she believed in that. She believed in, hey, you know what? You don't lay down for free you know if you're gonna if you're gonna give it up you gotta get something out of it and my belief has always just been different so he thought that he was gonna take care of me and he didn't and we ended up like I said it, we ended up somewhere else but I had to learn how to do on my own because I didn't have the help and I didn't have the resources to say okay well can you do this for me or can you do that for me when he and I broke up he made his entire family stay away from me and my kids. He told his entire family that they were not to be involved in their niece and nephew's life. And that if he ever caught them around the kids or me, he would disown them as, as brothers. And every last one of them stayed away. So when I say that I was... I had to raise my children on my own with no type of influence from the outside world, I had no help. And it taught me to really be very independent. Not that I wanted to be, but I had no choice. It was either figure out how to be independent or stay with a man that was going to eventually beat my ass and maybe even kill me since he used to love to pretend that that's what he would do to me. And I 
because, and because I went through all of that with this man as I was having children, I knew that as long as I had a place to live, I could be, I'll be good. You know, I wasn't going to worry about the rest of everything else. So I did exactly what my mother did, except I just did not, you know, move from state to state like my mother did. But anytime there was a project or something for me to do, I never completed it. Never. Never, never, never. I never completed it. I probably was the queen of procrastination. But when I decided that that, that just simply existing wasn't enough for me, that I wanted to live my life, that I wanted a chance to see what I am actually capable of, I said, you know what? When I made that decision and I moved my entire family someplace different to start over and I haven't looked back, it's been the best decision in the world because not only have I shown myself that over the last 20 years, despite, you know, feelings of inadequacy, that I was... I'm a strong ass woman and I have the ability to be anything that I want to be in my life and it is my choice it is my choice there is nothing that is keeping me bound by the life that I had there was no victim there anymore I I was no longer playing the victim I'm not the victim of abuse I'm not the victim of public assistance you know I'm not the victim of poverty no I'm not doing that anymore I'm not playing the victim anymore and I said I am going to do any and everything possible to change my life and that's what I am doing and I could not be happier and it's still a struggle don't get me wrong it's it's hard but I know who I am and I know what I want. And they're my hopes and they're my dreams. I have hope again. That to me is one of my biggest things. Being able to hold on to a dream that I had so many years ago. Before I even think I had my period. And I just want more. And I'm going to go for it. Don't get me wrong. I can't say that I'm not scared. Of course, I'm terrified. Who's not? But if you're like me out here and you are just so tired of feeling like you don't deserve anything in life and that you are ready to acknowledge the fact that nobody is going to hand you your life on a silver platter, that you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to get dirty. You're going to have to do that. When you realize that and you're saying, I don't care, then girl, you are ready to rock. You are ready to shine. That is your DWQ coming out. That is that diva queen warrior saying, yo, I need to get out. I got to stretch my legs. It's time for us to, you know, do the, you know, do the damn thing. So it doesn't matter what your past was like. Because if you are saying right now today that you're ready to make a change, then that's the start of your life. That's the start of it. Anything that has happened in the past is in the past. And you can choose to take your life to the next level if you want to. And it's not easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be time that you're going to think you're insane because I think I'm insane. Sometimes. I'm not going to lie. But for the most part, this is the sanest I've been since I was a little girl. I think this is probably the first time in my life, in my life, that I have hope for for myself that things are going to be okay. And the struggle is going to be gone. The mental bantering that I do to myself is gone. That emotional abuse that I put myself through telling myself that I'm not worth it and I can't do this and I can't do that. I stopped that. Now, it's only I can. It's only I can. And whatever the task is, I'm going to do it. I can do it. And ever since I adapted that, ever since I decided to take on that for my life, 
completely changed my life. Completely. Completely. I have a book on Amazon. I've completed all of my projects. I have online courses. You know, I have my blog. I have my, my social media platforms. Like, I have a busy life. And it's not where I need it to be at. But that's okay because I'm in the stages. I've been doing this for two and a half years. I'm not stopping. This is mine. My business, my life. So that means I'm going to put every ounce of energy I have into making it successful. And if you are at that stage in your life where you're like, I can do this. I know I can. Even if you feel like that little voice in the back of your head saying, no, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. Just do me a favor if you're over 40. Try not to do anything that's going to require a hip replacement, please. Okay? Rock on. You deserve to be on top of the world. You, you deserve to be on top of the world right now. We all do. It is our time. We have a female vice president. If that does not tell you, it is our time to come out from those shadows of where men and society has placed us. We are women of color. We are beautiful. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off that bed. Get off that couch. And get into something that is going to make you feel like you are the most beautiful, dynamic person in the world. And if that means losing some weight, lose some weight. If that means going for that, that promotion, then go for it. Whatever it is that you want to do in your life, become the yes ma'am. Become the yes ma'am. Because I guarantee you, when you start opening your heart and your mind to new things that no matter how scared you become, you're going to start to understand the things that, are, that you're going to start to realize that life is getting easier for you. Because the more you accept the positivity into the world and say, okay, I'm going to just try that. Sure, why not? You know? And you stop spending so much time on the negative aspect of that energy. Talking about, oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I can't do that. Oh, I'm never going to do that. Girl, please. Uh uh-uh. uh. Open up your mind. When you do that, your life will change. I know you hear it all the time. And I'm nobody special. So I'm telling you, if you've heard this before from other people, and now here I am, I'm just a plain Jane, you know, woman. But if I'm telling you this is real, that this is real, then believe it. This is real. Change your I can to I can and change your life. This is Carla Alexander. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Do not forget to share this video if you have any friends who could use a little bit of inspiration. And ladies, please do me a favor. Do not forget to be fat. Remember, feel good about yourself. Help others whenever possible. Always laugh even through the pain. And thank God every single day for what you have. You live by that, you'll stay fat.